Hey Virgo, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your general reading. If you have Virgo anywhere in your charts, this reading is for you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, Virgo, let's see what's going on. Let's get your energies. Okay, we have gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Okay, beautiful. At the bottom we have fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Okay. Let's get some more energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. What do we have for Virgo? Okay, this one wanted to pop out. We have sacred plan. Okay. It could be that you're manifesting something right now, Virgo. It could be that you're trying to create some kind of outcome, some kind of realization. You know? Let's get some more energies for Virgo. What do we have for Virgo, please? Okay. Yeah, we have time machine. So there's change. There's change coming around for you. And at the bottom, look at this. We have Leo. Waking the lion. Strength. So the number three and the number ten may be very significant to you. Um, but I feel like you have all of the strength that you need to push yourself into this change that you're going through. Um, I feel like having a very grateful heart, being thankful for the things that you have, the thing, thankful for the things that you are about to receive, and writing those things down, setting your intentions down on paper. Speaking about those intentions like they have already manifested for you. I am like, for example, I am so thankful and grateful to be driving this new car. I am so thankful to have this new house with a big kitchen, a beautiful living room and space you know be as <clears throat> be as total descriptive as you possibly can set your intentions give your intentions a picture you know you don't want to manifest a house and then the universe sends you a shack you know that is a house you know <laughs> be specific Set your intentions and be specific. Okay, we have the hermits. Beautiful. Have you been spending time alone? I feel like you're kind of getting clarity in this situation. We have the seven of swords. <clears throat> we have the five of swords. Wow, okay. More messages for Virgo, please. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. We have the Justice card. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. The King of Swords. The Three of Cups. And the Magician. Wow, okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups. Okay, let's see. Did I say this was the Three of Cups? No. <clears throat> Okay, this is the Page of Cups. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, I need to put on my glasses. Okay, glasses put on. And this is the Three of Cups at the bottom. You also have the Five of Cups at the bottom and the Ten of Swords. The Ace of Wands and the Judgment card. Wow, the Lovers. Wow, okay. Virgo, I feel like you're surrounding yourself by your soul tribe. I feel like, Virgo, you're being very social at the moment because I feel like something has left behind. Something you've moved away from. Some kind of energy that you moved away from that you had to release. And I feel like you were kind of, I feel like it wasn't your choice. I feel like it was... It was kind of set upon you that something had to end. Something stopped. You're just done with it. It's over. And now you do have a new beginning. You do have the Ace of Wands energy. So I feel like you're taking this time to introspect and you're, take this, you're taking this time to take action and think about yourself. Put yourself first. Because we have the Judgment card here as well. So I feel like you kind of, you have a lot of hope for the situation that this love is going to come back. Um, but I feel like you've kind of been set free in a way. You, you're trying to renew yourself to kind of change something about yourself. I feel like that's the reason why you have the, the, the hermit here. I feel like you're spending a lot of time alone to kind of get an introspective. You're trying to gain wisdom on the situation because you're not really clear why things happen or why things just aren't happening like you expect them to. You know, I do feel like there is someone that's surrounding you who is maybe causing conflict and I, I feel like this is the reason why you're so conflicted this is the reason why you may be in some kind of pain because there's conflict and I feel like you know someone is not being truthful with you Someone has it set in their mind that they're going to take this, whatever it is, away. They're kind of stealing something from you. And I feel like they're running away with it. But look, both of them have fire. Both of them have the wolves. Yeah, I, you know, I feel like someone's being very sneaky. Someone isn't telling the whole truth. And I feel like, you know, with this Eight of Wands energy, the truth comes out. Now someone wants to come back and apologize. And I'm not sure if you're ready to accept their apology. I, I feel like you're working on yourself, Virgo. But I feel like someone really wants to communicate with you very intensely. They may be sending you messages, one message after the other, trying to get your attention. Like, I know she didn't block me, or I know he didn't block me. But I'm, I feel like that's what they're feeling because you're not, you're not replying to their messages. But I feel like this person wants to come in and offer you an apology kind of give you a love offering, a sincere offering to kind of clear the air. <clears throat> but I feel like, Virgo, you're looking for karma. You're looking for balance. I feel like you're focusing on yourself. You don't have time for the mess. And I feel like you, you're kind of portraying the energy because you're trying to manifest something changes in your life you know you're looking for peace you're looking for stability you're looking for some kind of situation and you're trying to manifest it and i feel like 
this person is trying to get in your way of manifesting this energy that you need. So you're like, I don't have time for this. You know what? You treated me this sort of way. This is your karma. This is coming right back around to you. And I feel like you're holding on to your stability. <clears throat> you're stable. You're balanced. You're finding peace. Look at her face. She is nurturing that coin. She's finding peace. She's just content in her situation. She doesn't look like she's happy. She doesn't really look like she's sad. She's just embracing the moment. You know? Taking her alone time. Now, if this is truly a love reading, then I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is you, Virgo. The Queen of Pentacles, that is an earth sign. That is um, you, Virgo. I feel like the, the, the other counterpart that you're working with is probably an air sign. A Gemini, Libra, or um, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. But I feel like this person really wants to speak their truth. They really want to tell you something. They really want to explain the situation. And they're hoping that you understand and that you listen. <clears throat> but with this, with this page of cups, they're like speaking. And I'm not sure if you're listening. I feel like this page of cups is doing all the talking. And you're just, you know, I don't have time for this. What, what I'm trying to do with my life is totally different. I don't have time for your mess. You know, that's, that's what I feel about the situation. I feel like what you're creating, you're creating your success for yourself. And I feel like you're fully focused on what this is you're creating. What kind of ideas, what kind of stability. Whatever it is that you're manifesting, I feel like you're trying to bring that reality down to earth. And you're using your resources. You don't have no time to deal with someone else's problems while you're trying to manifest. You know? So I feel like you're totally in your energy. You, you feel like... You feel like you don't have time for the negative energy. And I totally understand that. Especially when I'm manifesting something, I don't want any negative energy around me. I want to be as positive as I possibly can so that I can have the best possible outcome. So I totally understand that you're staying away from negativity. And I feel like this person or the situation was very negative at the moment. And it kind of made you soul search. If this situation is really what is meant for you, you know, let's get some more messages for Virgo. Let's get some more messages for Virgo, please. <clears throat> yeah, we have the, the two of swords and the two of wands, two, 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 two. Yeah, you're trying to find your joy. You're trying to find your soulmate. Twos are, you know, two people to come to coming together, a union, a partnership. You know, this is two twos is love, choices, decisions. And I feel like that's what you're trying to do. You're you're caught up in the choice of the matter. You're trying to make a good plan. You know, both of these cards have to do with choice. The Two of Swords is at a crossroads. They're not really sure what the decision they're going to make, but they're going to think about what direction they want to go in. The Two of Wands is all about waiting for something to happen, but it's all about making a choice. But the Wands is action. So once they make their choice, they're going to put that into action. You know, so I, I feel like you're, you're deep in thought, but you're ready to act on whatever it is you're thinking. Whatever choice you are going to make. Okay, yeah, we have the chariot. Okay. 
I feel like you're going to move in the direction that's right for you. You're not worried about the, the bull from this person, what kind of situation they're in, what kind of apology they have. You are working on yourself and you are going to move in the direction that's best for you. You've done made the decision. So now after you make your choice and, and act upon your choice, now you're putting it into action. You're making the change. You know? Wow. Yeah, you're taking back your control. I feel like you're taking back your control. I feel like you, you gave this person control over the situation or so they thought. They thought that this person had control over the situation and now you're like you know what i'm not giving this any more energy i'm not putting any more emotion into it i'm just gonna let it go just move if it wants to move you know it is what it is so i, I really feel like with this emperor energy you're taking back your control of the situation you're no longer putting a lot of energy into this situation. Yeah, but this person is thinking about you. They're deep in thought. They're deep in thought. I feel like they have a lot of regrets. They, they want the passion back. They want the emotion, the fire, the spark. You know, and I feel like you bring that. But the ones, they're also unstable. Fire is unstable. They're very, you know, fire can get out of control. They can lose their temper. Yeah, we have the Ace of Wands. They want to start over in the situation. They want to rebuild this passion. You know, ignite the spark. Yeah, two of cups. Okay. They want a reunion. They want to be back with you. And I feel like they're deep in thought. They, they're ready to sacrifice whatever they need to sacrifice to get back to you. They don't want to completely lose you. Yeah, look at this, the judgment card. They definitely want to start over. They don't want to lose you because they feel like you have too many options. You have too many opportunities to do what is best for you, to do whatever, you know, is, is right for you. You know, they feel like, you know, Virgo has too many opportunities. You know, they, they have too many options. I, I don't want this to be an illusion. I want this to be real. So... I mean, with the Seven of Cups, it is opportunities and choices. But with the Seven of Cups, there may also be a commitment issue. Because, you know, I feel like maybe this person wanted to commit and you didn't or you wanted a commitment and this person didn't. It could go either way. But this person wants a second chance. I feel like they kind of see their life going the wrong way without you. They want to bring that hope, that love to reignite something. They want you to make a final decision. No. We have, look, more Leo energy. Confidence is the key to success. So definitely, you have to be fearless in your situation. If you want to be bold enough to say, you know, I'm working on myself. I need some time. Then that is purely your problem in your, you know, your prerogative. A personal issue reaches a resolution. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like this situation may be resolved, 
But like I said, this person wants to come in with an apology. They really want to communicate how they feel. They want a new beginning. So the, the question is, do you want to give them a new beginning? At the bottom of the deck, you have believe in the impossible. So, I know miracles do happen. So, you know, this believe in the impossible. It could be dealing with the thing that you're trying to manifest. It could also be talking about this situation in general. So, take it how it resonates. We also have last quarter moon in Virgo. Attend to the details. Take a second look. Make a solid decision. We also have sacred plan there. You know, make a solid plan. What is best for Virgo? And then we have trust in the universe. First quarter moon in Aquarius. And we have new moon in Leo. Shine. So, no matter what you do, Virgo, shine. Shine. At the bottom, we have embrace the flow of life. Full moon in Gemini. Okay, so let's get some clarity on the situation. Spirit, tell me a little bit more about the situation for Virgo. Tell me more about the situation. What should Virgo do in this situation? Sorry, Virgo. <clears throat> what dropped was the Seven of Cups. So, like I said, there could be commitment issues. There could still be commitment issues. This could also be opportunities and options that you have, you know. But the problem with the Seven of Cups is sometimes there's too many choices, too many opportunities. So beware of that. The Fool. Whatever journey that you're on, Virgo, this is a new journey for you. You're taking a leap of faith. You're finding your balance. You're healing. With the Fool card, you also could be taking chances. You have the star. Healing. Renewal. Hope. Believing in miracles. You know? Beautiful. We have the Queen of Swords. So I feel like communication really is key. Communication is going to be very important. And opening up those lines of communication are going to unburden you of feelings that maybe you've been holding in and kind of releasing them. Whether you're going to start the situation over or you're going to put it to an end. But communication is the key. The High Priestess. Yeah. There's a lot of secrets that want to be told. There's a lot of things that want to be said. This is also the need of you to trust the process. You know, trust yourself. Trust the universe. And the Six of Cups. Yeah, this person definitely wants a reunion. They're thinking a lot about you. They're hoping for a reunion. The chariot. Yeah, we have the chariot for the second time. So you're definitely, you're definitely in the process of taking action in the situation and moving forward. You're moving in the direction that will be right for you. And we have the Hermit card. Look, we're starting with the Hermit and we're ending with the Hermit. 
So definitely some kind of clarity is going to come to you because I feel like you're deep in wisdom. You're deep in thought about the situation. The hermit is being led by his past failures, his past lessons. You know, those are lessons learned in that lantern. That's his healing. He's being led by the wisdom of that teaching. So I feel like that that's what you need to do. You need to be led by the lessons you've learned, by your healing, and come to a right conclusion. You know, I feel like that is going to help you gain clarity on the situation. And we have the Eight of Swords. Hmm. So I feel like your defenses are up. You're not quite sure if you want to move forward with the situation. You're not quite sure if you want to hold back. You're kind of stuck in the situation. You're stuck with all of these swords around you. The swords represent your insecurities. Each sword represents a lesson learned, you know, and you're being surrounded by these lessons. You're being surrounded by, you know, I don't want to do this again. I don't want to go through this again. You know, I'm going to protect myself. I'm going to defend myself so that this doesn't happen. So I feel like you're protecting yourself. You're setting up your boundaries. You are defending yourself from any kind of harm, emotional or physical. So I feel like that's what you're doing. Um, at the bottom, we have the moon. So the moon energy can be very tricky because the moon energy can be unseen problems. It can also be changes that you're making within yourself. But it's like you following your own path, following your own truth, trusting your intuition. Um, so I feel like that's what you need to do in the situation is trust your intuition. Follow your truth, Virgo, whatever that means to you. I'm going to go ahead and take an angel card because I feel like it's needed in this situation. And then we'll go ahead and end this reading. Okay, spirit, give me a message for Virgo, please. <clears throat> Experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. Let's see, let's get one more. We also have devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. So, Spirit is letting you know that you're being protected. You're being guidance. See, at the bottom we have transcendence. Rise up. Honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. So, I, yeah, I feel like you need to trust yourself. Whatever that you're manifesting, I feel like it's really coming into fruition for you. It's coming into view. So, trust your intuition. Virgo, trust the path that you want to follow and then take that path. You know, I hope this helps out a lot. Uh, Virgo, this is what I have for you. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And you may want to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. Sun sign, moon sign, rising sign, if you know those. Um, I'll have all of them uploaded by next week. So, Virgo, until your next reading, many blessings, love, and light.